for you. It's another look. Look like John Nash got a got a hit in there at the last minute. Unfortunate. Hunston Davis, the third longest in Louisiana Tech history. First and goal from the nine yard line for the Bulldogs, trying to add to their 7 0 lead. Kubik, handoff. Moats trying to reverse his field, trying to get to the corner. He gets to the corner of the five, to the end zone. Touchdown, Tech. That's what makes this kid so good. What? Linebacker. What do you call him, third and two with Ryan Moats in the backfield? I, I would think <laughs> you do anything you can to get the ball in his hands. <laughs> I know if snap I was offensive off. coordinator, it'd just be Ryan, get the first down. Maybe a direct snap. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Third and two now. You see a Tech's offensive line is totally intact from last year, so they got a lot of experience up there. Kubik, handoff, Moats gets a corner turn. He could go. Moats, he's gone. 20, 10, forget about it. Ryan Moats, touchdown, Louisiana Tech. Once he turned the corner, it was a, with his second touchdown run. God, he can accelerate so quickly. And that's what that's the thing right there that SMU really couldn't afford to do is give up the big play to him. And you, you know it's going to happen with this kid. You just hope it doesn't happen to you. 86-yard touchdown carry for Moats as he's nearing the century mark now here late in the first quarter. And Danny Horwoodell for the extra point. And the kick is good. Big stride. Kubik right on the money. Great throw, great catch. That's the Xbox big play. We also had the big touchdown run by Moats of 72 yards. Fault anything Louisiana Tech has done. Yeah, what do you stop if you're SMU? You put a bunch of people up on the line of scrimmage, stop Moats, and maybe these other wide receivers run by you. It's a pretty tough job. Second and one from the 26-yard line. Here's Moats again. He's got a first down inside the 25. Carrying tacklers inside the 20. And down to the 16. That'll be the final play of this first quarter in Dallas. It has been a big rushing performance from Moats. Over 1,000 for the season. Over 100 yards after one quarter of play. And the passing attack, very impressive as well. Ben Louisiana Tech with big hits and plenty of offense. The Bulldogs trying to stay perfect in the Western Athletic Conference in front 21-7. One quarter in the books from Dallas. Dell, the freshman from Oak Ridge, Tennessee, will try to tack three more on the board. He's got big shoes to fill. There was a kid named Jacoby last year from Tech that's now played in the NFL. So he's got some big shoes to fill. He's one for four on field goals this season. The kick on the way. In motion, Romo takes a handoff and he's clobbered in the backfield. Well, <laughs> that time to the near side of the field, it didn't work as Jamel Cage just blew that play up. The senior from New Orleans read that from the outset. That was one of those slow developing plays. It looked like they were trying to run a double reverse or either faking it, I'm not sure. But you take your chances when you got great linemen like Cage coming up back there. Cage. Now that's now that's that right there. You're moving the ball on the ground. You know, just keep pounding it out. They're doing a good job with what they're doing. You try to do something like that to make a big play, make something happen, you lose seven yards. Second down, 16. Time for Eckert goes downfield, and it's intercepted. Taken away by Jerron Wisham, and the Bulldogs have another turnover. Now it is a board. Comes penalty or turnovers, and uh, three big plays have made a difference in this game. A costly turnover near their own 40-yard line that Louisiana Tech turned into points, and there's another turnover. It's picked off. Jeremy Hamilton, the weak side linebacker, picks off Tony Eckert, and the Bulldogs have it back. Jeremy Hamilton, he's going to make some plays. He's the strongest guy on the Louisiana Tech team and one of the fastest. He was in the right place. To see what they do with Moats behind him, five yards deep in the backfield, fourth and one at the 20. Kubik, handoff to Moats, cuts it up against the grain. He's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Louisiana Tech. Once he made the turn back, out of the hole of Duke Hassan, the sophomore. 
Kick on the way from the left footer, and the kick is good. So SMU gets points on that drive, and they cut it to a three touchdown deficit. The kind of plays as a team you work on, you know, your two minute drill, you come down towards the end of a half, and knowing you have to score, you got some special plays. This looks like one of them. Tech's got their receivers split real tight. They're gonna all go filtering everywhere, probably. Bunch formation on second and 10. Backside pressure gets rid of the football. Franklin, touchdown, Louisiana Tech. Got rid of it just in time. And Eric Franklin with his second touchdown grab of the season. It's 37 on his first attempt. Two of five on the season. This one from the left hash. And the kick is good. Next, Des Abrams. And they get it back. And for Eckert, he's been picked off four times today. Hadn't been a good night for Tony. And he threw it right into coverage again. Eck, uh, kid made a good play on the ball. It was a cover two defense, and he just read the, he looked the whole way that time. Abrams, a sophomore, his first interception of the season. Good defensive backs watch the quarterback. Their eyes give away a lot. That, that was a pretty typical situation there. Well, champion, a quick breather. The freshman best of 41 to 10 win. Big first half. Motes, 186 yards, three touchdown runs. Kubik was sensational throwing the football as well.